The display server not supported error will appear when you will try to connect to the Linux device using AnyDesk. So the issue is with destination device and not with the source device. Um, if the destination device is a Linux device, then you might get this error. But there are two ways to fix it. So first, let me uh, show you how to install the AnyDesk on Ubuntu version 23.10. So if we open the browser, and navigate to anydesk.com, and go to downloads, make sure you have a Linux, scroll down, and we will use that repository. A new tab will open. Let's move it a little bit right and now let's open the terminal. Okay, so first we need to make sure that we are a root user. So Okay, so now we are a root user. Now let's copy the first command. So this will add a repository key to trusted software provided list. Let's copy the second one. This one will add the repository. Now let's do the update. And now let's install the AnyDesk. Confirm with the Y. Okay, let's exit now from the root user. I will clear this and I will close the browser. Okay, so if this PC will be a destination, so someone will try to connect to this machine, you will need to do some changes, otherwise the, this, the source machine will get an error that display server is not supported. If you will use this machine to connect to other devices, then you don't need to do anything. So basically we will disable the Wayland. What is the Wayland? Wayland is a replacement for the X11 Windows system protocol and architecture with the aim to be easier to develop, extend and maintain. It's the protocol that applications can use to talk to display server in order to make themselves visible and get input from the user. So if you will have any issues with other GUI apps on Ubuntu, it might be because you disabled the Wayland. So just go back to this file, enable the Wayland, restart the PC and check if the app is working. Okay, so now let me show you one way on how to disable the Wayland. Okay, so we open the uh, custom.config file. So now we need to go here and uncomment the Wayland enable equal false. So this will force the login screen to use xorg. So remove the hash, control shift x, confirm it y and press enter. I will uh, hit N for no because I will not do the change after 
uh, this change all you need to do is restart the ubuntu and issue with uh, display server not supported uh, should be fixed the other way and maybe the easiest way to fix this issue is before you log in to the ubuntu you do the change so let's log out So before you log in, if you click on your user and at the right uh, bottom corner, you will see this gear icon. All you need to do is just change to Ubuntu on Xorg. Log in and the issue with uh, display server not supported should be fixed. Okay, so these are two ways on how to disable the Wayland. With the AnyDesk on Ubuntu version 23.10, you will face also this issue. Uh, if you go to the right top corner, you see whenever you go with the mouse, it says AnyDesk. And when you click, it opens AnyDesk. Open the Firefox and let's maximize and let's try to close it it will not close it will open any desk so you can't do anything here the only thing that you can do is open any desk so you need to remove the window from the right top corner and then you can close the windows of the applications or firefox or whatever so this can be very annoying so I would recommend that you use uh, Ubuntu version 22 and AnyDesk. So let's open terminal and I will show you how to uninstall the AnyDesk. Why? To finish with uninstallation, you can also run this command. So sudo pt auto remove, press enter, and this will remove all the packages. Confirm it Y and press enter. And any desk is uninstalled. All you need to do now is just restart the Ubuntu and you're done. Okay, that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please give me a like or subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.